Hello, and welcome to your lesson on the midpoint of a line segment. Before we start the video, you were asked to log on to the OERB website and complete the activity called Discovering Midpoints. All of the information that you need is right here, and the link, username and password can also be found on the Moodle. If you hadn't, have not had a chance to complete this activity yet, please stop the video, complete the activity, and then return to the video once you have finished. Once you have finished the video, you will have learned how to figure out the midpoint, which is the exact point that is halfway between the two endpoints A and B. You found out the midpoint of the horizontal line segment was the halfway point, and the midpoint of the vertical line segment was also the halfway point. So the midpoint of the diagonal line segment, which we label with an M, is the halfway point of the x-coordinate and the halfway point of the y-coordinate. The halfway point is the average. To find the average of the x-coordinates, you add them together and divide by 2. And similarly, to find the average of the y-coordinates, you add them together and divide by 2. This is the formula of your midpoint of a line segment and because it is a point it's very important that you remember to put your coordinates around brackets for proper form. What we're going to do now is a couple of examples and then you'll have a couple that you can try yourself. The question would be read as Determine the midpoint of each line segment with the given endpoints, leave your answers as fractions in lowest terms, and not to use any decimals. So for question one, to find the midpoint of AB, you label that with a capital M for midpoint, and as subscript down here, you would write AB. And we label this as midpoint of AB because in some questions you will be finding the midpoint of various line segments. So that is equal to, we're going to start with averaging the x coordinates. This is your x1 and this is your x2. So to average those, 6 plus negative 4 over. 2. Then you're going to average your y coordinates. If that's your y1 and that's your y2, to average them, 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Again, don't forget the brackets because this is a coordinate. The next thing we're going to do is add the numerators. 6 plus negative 4 is 2 divided by 2. 3 plus 1 is 4 divided by 2. And where appropriate, you are going to put your fractions into lowest terms with no decimals. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint of line segment AB is equal to 1, 2. Try another example. To find the midpoint between the endpoints of C and D, M for midpoint, label it with a C, D. It's a coordinate, so we want brackets. Average your x's, so that is 5 plus negative 3 over 2. Now average your y's. There's your y's. Negative 2 plus 4 divided by 2. Add your numerators. 5 plus negative 3 is 2. Negative 2 plus 4 is 2 and then your fraction in lowest terms. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 
2 divided by 2 is 1. So the midpoint of the line segment with endpoints C and D is at 1, 1. What I'm going to get you to do is to stop the video, try examples 3, 4, 5, and 6 on your own. Remember that you should have brackets around your coordinates and you should put your answers as fractions in lowest terms. Once you have finished 3, 4, 5, and 6, you can go ahead and play the tape to check your answers. So stop the tape here and try these four questions on your own. Hi there, welcome back to the video. If you'd like to go ahead and check your answers to number 3 and 4, what you might notice as a difference with number 3 is that the, num the numerators were odd numbers such that you cannot divide by 2 without getting decimals so you would leave your answers like this a fraction with no decimals. Here's your answer to question 4. I want to take a minute check your answers to 3 and 4. Pause the tape if you need to. And you can check your answers to questions 5 and 6 as well. Pause the recording if you need to to get a good look at those. If you needed help with any of these questions, please make note of it in your handout and ask your teacher for help the following day in class. Thank you and I hope you, that you learned how to find the midpoint of a line segment.